Last game of the season, and there is quite a bit at stake, except if you're Liverpool or Watford. Liverpool ran away with the league this year. Watford is getting relegated for sure. There is one, two, three, four teams in danger of being relegated. Burnley is safe. We are safe. We're solidly in 11th place. We have the opportunity to finish in 10th. We go to the league table here. Liverpool only lost the two games. We have been doing... Yeah, okay, we've won 14, we've drawn 5, we've lost 18. I wish that was a little bit more to 50-50. We have a negative 8 goal differential, and that is because it has been feast or famine for us. Uh, after losing to Chelsea, we beat Leicester 4-2, Elisa goal, Mateta goal, Eduardo goal, Anderson a goal. We lost to Leeds 3-2, Mateta had a brace of goals within 2 minutes, and then Daniel James broke the tie. I mean, there were literally 3 goals in 3 minutes. We, uh, Mateta scored in the 52nd, Bamford scored in the 53rd, Mateta scored in the 54th. To equalize, James put the game out of reach with a goal in the 63rd minute. Against Man City, this was a tough match. I really thought we had a chance to win. Now, Man City absolutely dominated us from a statistics point of view. They had 19 shots, 7 on target. We had 13 and 6. Well, maybe domination is, is a bit too much, but they, they definitely had the upper hand for most of the game. But we had our chances, and we had a couple chances late in the game as well. But we just, we just couldn't get it done. We lost, but losing by 1 is okay. Losing to Liverpool 6-3, that is totally no bueno. Uh... Mane had a brace of goals, Rita Walt had an own goal, Firmino a goal. I mean, it was literally 3-0 within the first 11 minutes of the match. Which is annoying, especially when you consider they beat us 6-1 the first time around. So, overall, this season, Liverpool beat us 12-4 on aggregate. That's that's not a good thing. I mean, we got managed to get two more goals this time around, but still. Tottenham beat us 2-1, Connor Gallagher a goal, Odison Edward a goal. I asked Chelsea if we could get Gallagher back on loan next season. They wanted £700,000 a month if he was playing, £1.4 million a month if he wasn't playing. They wanted me to pay his full salary, which I want to say is €15,000. Yeah, 15,000 euros a week, whether he was playing or not. And then they wanted a guaranteed future transfer fee of 18 million euros. And when you consider that the season is what? It starts, call it July. So July, uh, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. 10 months at 700,000 a month. That's 7 million pounds plus 18 is 25 million pounds. I like Conor Gallagher. I don't know that I 25 million pounds like him, especially when there's no guarantee my transfer budget is even going to be 18 million pounds next year. I mean, at this point, we're finishing mid-table, and it's guaranteed to be 12.8. I'm not expecting it to be any higher than that. Um, I've bought a couple players that are going to be coming in next year. That's why the transfer budget did zero. And frankly, it took a little bit of wiggle room to get it to that. But that's okay. So we're playing Southampton today. Southampton is currently... Are they the team that... Is above us? No, they're below us. So, we have a chance to finish above Norwich. That would be nice. Finishing up 50 points would be very, very... I'm not going to say gratifying, but it would be very cool if we could do that. We have had a... I'm not going to say a huge injury problem, but we have had some injury issues, mostly with players who are already leaving. I don't know why they keep kicking uh, Admiral all the way down here. He's on the first squad, for crying out loud. Let me, let me double-check that just to make sure. Teo Admiral squad... Yes, he's on the senior squad. Okay. Oh, kickoff highlight. Guehi. Gallagher. Anderson. Back to Guehi. Over to Mitchell. He gets it to Eze. Eze back to Mitchell. Mitchell back to Guehi. Guehi to Anderson. Anderson to Sione. Edward. Mateta. To Eze. Feeds Edward, gets by one, and he scores. A nice effort by Odson Edward. 13 goals for him this season. A solid, solid season for him. I've been switching him and Mateta up top between the advanced forward and complete forward. Uh, in some respects, Mateta's the better overall player, but Edward's a little bit better than him in a couple of uh, attributes. So it's not a huge drop-off between either one of them. I think at the end of the day, it's also going to come down to which foot do they like playing on the best, and how can I get that to best fit my system? Guiata taps up to Anderson over to Sioni, who's been a very nice pickup for us. Edward to Gallagher. Gallagher back to Anderson. Anderson to Guehi. Guehi out to Mitchell. Mitchell to Eze. Eze cuts inside. 
passes up to Edward. Edward tries to feed Zaha, but he kicks a little bit too hard. McCarthy ends up smothering the ball. Zaha, I'm not sure about. I promised Milvojevic I would give him a new contract, even though he really hasn't been starting the season. Armstrong, we ought a very nice save. Um, I've got Elise. I got Eze. I got Fosu. I think there's better younger strikers out there than Zaha, and I'm trying to get the club a little bit younger. And Zaha, I'm reasonably sure, is not willing to be a squad player. Mateta, back to Sayoni. No, dispossessed, but ball goes right to Gallagher. Edward tries feeding Eze, but Livermento knocks it back to McCarthy. Guayhi knocks the ball down to Sayoni. Sessignon, over to Anderson. Back to Sessignon. To Anderson. Guayhi. I think they think so little of Guayhi's ability as a, as a ball player. As someone who can move the ball. They're not marking him. Oh, a very nice save by the defender there. Mateta got around the keeper. And the, the defender, who was that? I think it was that guy there. I think it was Ben Eric Made a really nice save. Redmond sends it in and Asmo and scores. I picked the wrong time to double check and make sure I was actually recording. He may have been offsides. Nope. Oh, well. Nah, he was fine. He was totally off. He was... I could see the... I could see... What's his name? Shoulder there. Yeah, he was... No, there's no way he was offsides. Come on. No, oh, another kickoff highlight. Edward Degwehi. Back over to Gallagher, to Guayhi, Mitchell, to Guayhi, over to Anderson. Anderson to Zaha. Zaha, nice pass to Sessignon, who gets it up to Edward. Oh, Mateta can't get ahead on it. Armstrong ends up with the ball, but Gallagher dispossesses him, but Armstrong's going to run it down before it goes out of bounds. Gives it over to Vednerik, back to McCarthy, bombs it over to Adams. However, Sayoni steps in front of the pass. Mateta takes a shot. McCarthy dives out of the way. Gets a, gets a hand on it again to block it. Wow. Alex McCarthy is having one heck of a game. The rating doesn't show up, but he's having one heck of a game. We're on balance. I think we're going to positive. Ward Pro and, of course, Adam scores when I'm not looking. Oh, that was horrible, horrible timing. I don't even know if Adams was offsides or not. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Jeez. Okay, we may have dodged a bullet there. And it looks like we are going into half, tied one all. Southampton is a little bit better statistically speaking. 11 shots, 6 on target. We have a slight position advantage. 9 shots, 4 on target. Uh, McCarthy's had 4 block shots. We've, had one clear, we've each had one clear cut chance. Southampton's had more half chances. Guiada over to Guayhi, back to Guiada, to Anderson, Edward. Gets it over to Zaha. Zaha gives the ball away to Adams. Asmon, Ward, Prowse, Adams alone on the left, driving forward. Gets it back to Romo. Adams sends it in, Asmon's right there. And I'll start with a bad Zaha pass, which doesn't really endearing me to him anymore. In my thoughts of, am I going to keep Wilfred Zaha? It's an overreaction on my part, I know, but still. Guayada to Anderson. Anderson to Sayoni. Guayi over to Eze. Eze gives the ball away now. Ward Prowse for Adams. Guayada, a nice save. Kicked away by Guayhi. Ball. Uh, play still going. Livermento diving forward. Over to Ward Prowse. Romo. Romeo. Romo. Out to Livermento on the right. He crosses it in. Asmund's there for a third. Jeez. I really don't want to see the replay on that. Defense absolutely just. <sighs> Going to bring Mengi on. Going to bring Ferguson on. 
You know, we're going to bring Adam Rolla on as well. It's going to be a complete replacement of nuts. You want to do that? It's going to be a complete replacement of our freaking back line. An almost complete replacement, I should say. Zaha. Edward. Sessignon to Sayoni. Back to Anderson. Sessignon. Gives the ball away. Ward Prost steps up. Asmolin gets it over to Adams. Adams, and I have to cough. Sorry. Well, that was fortuitous. The highlight ended. Now this one's picking up. Walker Adams. Romo. Over to Armstrong. He chests it down and gets it to Livermento. Asmolin. Is there, but it's knocked away by Mengi. Edward. Oh, gets by the defender. He's got help. Is he going to use it? Does he need it? No, he's going to kick the ball right to McCarthy. He's going to turn it aside. Shades of FM 18 right there. Sessignon. Sends it in. Knocked away. Redmond runs it down, but the highlight ends. Livermento on a throw-in. Long throw. Knocked down. Gallagher ends up with it. Eze to Zaha, and Zaha, a nice shot, sneaks it by near post against McCarthy. A little bit of life left in this game. 15 minutes to equalize. Not quite sure what Livermento was doing there. Gallagher, nice pass to Eze. Zaha just waiting in space, got behind the defender who wasn't paying attention to him. That kind of redeems him for his bad pass earlier. Zaha was wide open, though. Ward-Prowse, oh, a nice header, but over the crossbar by Romo. Five minutes left. Bednarik, back to McCarthy. Ball's knocked down. Admirola heads it over to Eze, feeds Mateta. Mateta holds it up, gets it to Edward, and we score. Edward equalizes in the 91st minute. A little bit of luck from the FM gods. Nice job. Mateto holds it up. The defender runs past him. Nice little pass to Edward. How much extra time is there? I did not see. Four minutes. And that is the game. We claw the draw back. In a game they probably in a game Southampton probably should have won. 28 shots, 13 on target. Their XG was 3.36. Two clear cut chances, nine half chances. It was a very good performance. A nice way to end the season on a non-loss. Woohoo! Definitely deserves something. Would have been nice if we'd done that at home, but doing it away at Southampton isn't bad either. We'll save the game here real quick. We received 19.31 million. Collective bonus was paid out 1.4 amongst the squad post press con post match press conference. I thought we were more than a bit fortunate. It's been a very productive season. Edward has been the subject of transfers. The first offseason is always interesting, and my offer for Alte was accepted. This is very nice. I've futzed around with my transfer budget a little bit. This is Alte Bayander. He is Fenerbahce's keeper. He has two uh, appearances for the Turkish national squad, and he is a very very solid keeper for that price. They wanted 8.5 million for him straight up. I bargained him down to about 4 million now, 5.5 million later. Good jumping reach, good agility, good anticipation, nice concentration, decision making, okay positioning. His work rate's really good. Throwing is okay. His reflexes are really good. His one on ones are really good. His aerial reach is really, really good. His command of the area could be a little bit better, but we can work on that. 24 years old. And for 8 million euros, well, maybe 8.5, he's going to be a solid, solid keeper for us. Um, I'm reasonably sure if Guiat is not moving on, he's going to be, at best, our third uh, backup next season. Um, I like the guy, and it's one of those cases where I mentioned in a previous episode. Having played Palace in the past before, my experience with Guiat has been he's really solid for a couple of years, and he falls off a cliff. And then... And if it's not that, he's solid for a half season, and he falls off a cliff. 
at some point in time, he falls off a cliff. He's 35 years old. Toyko was fired by Chelsea? Wow, that's the Premier League for you. Let's get through this real quick. End of season review. Olise, I did not bring in. Mengi, they liked. Anderson, I did not bring in. Gallagher, of course, they liked. Edward, I did not bring in. Will Hughes, I did not bring in. Sayoni, I did bring in. They liked him. Guehi, I did not bring in. Sessegnon, they, they kind of sort of liked. Fosu, they're kind of holding their, their breath on. Remy Matthews, I did not bring in. So they liked most of the ones I brought in. Chelsea finished in 5th, and they fired Teuchel. That is pretty wild. We finished in 11th. The board is delighted. Uh, we, were, we were picked to finish 17th. EC. How did, Wol how did Wolves qualify for the Euro Cup? They won the FA Cup. They beat Brighton, and they qualified for the Euro Cup. Wow. So the teams going down are Watford, Brighton, and Leicester. If Wolves had gone down, they'd be in the world. They'd be in the Euro Cup as a championship team, which I suspect has happened in the past. Maybe not in the recent past, but wow! Everton dodged the drop. Wolves barely survived the drop. Leicester and Brighton going down. Yeah, Brighton is kind of expected. Leicester isn't. They've got a really good squad, which makes me wonder. Hmm. It might be worth looking at some of their players to see if they're willing to leave because the team is being relegated. Maybe a Pats and Daka. Then again, maybe not. He, they're, at, they're thinking he's worth 19.5 to something. Yeah, or you know, maybe there's a, maybe there's value. The Hamza Chowdhury, it's it's 1.1. He's 1.1 million at 24 years old, and he's listed. We're totally making an offer for him. Straight up, 1.1. Yuri Thielman's there. He's set, but he's also a year older than Chaudhuri. Ndidi. Yeah. Nacho. There's Perez. I would have to bring in... Well, let's take a look at their U18 guys. I, I haven't scouted their U18 guys, which is actually probably something I should do. U18 scout report. Team report. We want my best English guy on it. That's going to be... <sighs> I'll go back real quick. Okay. The moments to remember. Our biggest win was the 5-0 against Brentford. Our match to remember was the 2-1 against Everton, where we won in the 91st minute thanks to an IO goal. Goal of the season was James MacArthur at Norwich. I don't remember this off the top of my head. Came in the 87th minute. Watch goals. Now, it's the only goal in the match, so... Banks, to Riedewald. Oh, I remember that one. MacArthur got it from distance. Okay, that's that's very goal of the year worthy. Finances, there's no changes, but that's a good baseline for next season. Lined up in the four-two-four mostly. Uh, fans player of the season, Jean Fleet Mateta. Young player of the season, John Fleet Mateta. Signing of the season, Steve Sessegnon. I don't know I'd go with that. I would have thought Sayoni. Goal of the season was MacArthur. Mateta led us with 29 goals. He also had 13 assists. He also had nine players of the match. I'm not a huge fan of one guy being the conduit for everything, but I think we had some players who were also very, very close. He also had a 7.4 rating. Anderson completed 81 of his 90 passes. Uh, most ever goals by a player in a season, 29 by Mateta. Most assists by a player in a season... 13 also by Mateta. That seems low. Guiata had seven shutouts. Mateta had nine players of the match. Milvojevic had 15 yellow cards and a red card. Mengi was our youngest goal scorer, and he's not even our player. Our oldest goal scorer was our, was our goal of the year guy, MacArthur. Season in review, we did really, really well. We were, we were tipped to finish about 17th. We were, we, were gonna, we were supposed to be in a relega relegation. Words. We were supposed to be in a relegation fight. We did really well to avoid that. Uh, let's see. Seasonal... Seasonal analysis report. Crossing. Fewer crosses, but they were accurate. Passing. Lots of passes. They were accurate. Goal output. Not so much. We're going to be kind of on the low side here. High quality shooting, poor defending. Possession. We were pretty good. The only teams that were better than us were Southampton and Burnley. 
and luster. And movement-wise, fewer dribbles, loose in possession. Yeah, considering the number of easy passes that we gave up, I totally buy into that. Develop youth players in progress. Counterattacking soccer in progress. Sign players under 23 for the age of first team. That's not a, it's favored, but it's not preferred. So signing a player like Thielmans, signing Thielmans is better than signing, say, a Guiata. Make the most of set pieces. We're doing well there. We did have a lot of set piece goals. Play entertaining soccer. I think that's in progress. Sell players for profit. Eh, I think that's working. For the most part, minimum three-year contracts for players. Dynamics update. Guiata, Zaha, Milvojevic. End of season team meeting. Discuss plans for next season. This is where I always go wrong. We finish mid-table. I'm going to say the season is finished now, and it's time to focus on what we can achieve going forward. I think we can earn a mid-table finish next year, and you need to come back for preseason with that same level of ambition. We finished 11th this year. Mid-table is highly possible, and the team is very happy with that. Okay. I'm not making any promises. I did make a promise that I would resign Milivojevic, but if Thielmans does come on board, that's not going to happen. Bournemouth is making all an offer. $7 million going to 8.75. Hmm. Facilities were downgraded. Youth rating dropped. Initial budgets. 1.5 million transfer budget of 22. Well, 21.99, but call it 22. Okay. Oh, I totally forgot to hit forward. Or stop. Okay. We gotta go back. Facilities were downgraded. We're gonna crest with improved training facilities. We're gonna go back to the board. And we're going to also request an improved youth facilities. And we're also going to request an increase in our youth level. That's the team report I requested. I don't know. We'll take a look and see. We'll take a look in the offseason and see. One of the things I like to do is you go to all the big leagues. You take a look at the teams that are being relegated. Sometimes there's a really good player who has a relegation release clause that's actually very affordable. So um, I suspect there's going to be some decent players for, for good money coming up. Uh, I know Mbappe is leaving on a free. Good. Planned facilities work. Planned youth work. Nice. What about our youth and crew? What about our youth level? Come on, youth level. Oh, what is this? The English Premier Under-23 Division. So most player goals. Rodrigo Munez. Who I've looked at, because he's at Fulham. He's not bad. He's just a little bit out of our price range at the moment. So we'll keep our eyes open. Hmm. Icelandic Under-19 Cup has started. The pronunciation alone would be fun. So the one thing we are going to do now, the guys are all on vacation. So if we sort by contract... Taden Mengi on up are players who are either leaving or aren't getting re-signed and will be leaving. Uh, I mentioned the Connor Gallagher thing. Um, yeah, that's mildly annoying. One thing I've noticed, especially with younger players, is that if you do try and loan them in, the team puts a future transfer fee on them. Like, how interested are you in them? It's like, look, if I wanted to, if I, yeah, it's amazing because I'm reasonably sure if I went to Chelsea and said, hey, how much for Conor Gallagher? They would come back and say, oh, he's not available for any price. But if I loan him in, as long as I pay 700,000 pounds a month and 13 million or 18 million pounds at the end, you're happy to sell him to me. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, the good news is, at least in terms of the players we're losing, we're not losing a bunch in terms of quality. We're not losing a bunch in terms of we're not losing in terms of youth quality. Um, if Jasur and Rikisaki was three years younger, I would resign him, and then I would hope I would improve his determination. But I can't, so he's going to be out. But the nice thing is, the other nice thing is, with all these guys leaving, especially some of the more expensive players, we're adding that's what one hundred. Benteke is leaving. He's got freaking one hundred twenty thousand pounds salary. This is two hundred. 300, probably 350, uh, maybe 325,000 uh, pounds going back to the budget. So we've got a little bit of wiggle room. 22, uh, 22 million euros is, 22 million pounds is a very decent transfer budget, especially with the number of players we have in the database, 450,000 of them. There's going to be a hidden 
gem or diamond in the rough out there that we can bring into the team and can be contributing right away. So it's going to be a decent amount of changes this offseason, but it was a successful season. I wanted a mid-table finish. We finished mid-table. There were a couple periods where it was looking particularly dire. Uh, December especially, just a lot of games, the five back-to-back losses, including the 6-1 drubbing at Liverpool. But for the most part, if you look at, these are our losses here. 1-0, 3-2, 2-1, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 4-2, 3-1, 